What's going on, guys? It is your boy Thesis, and then we got Joshua the Silent Deer, it's the quietest of all the ungulates on the planet. Is that right? Is that are they, are they called ungulates? Uh, is it are, is, is a deer an ungulate? What the fuck's an ungulate? Deer. Un Side note: Why am I the quietest? Because you're the silent deer, bro. Ungulate. I got it. I'm gonna read that. Ungulates are. I can't read that. That small. Oh, members. Diverse group of primarily large mammals that include odd, odd toed. toed. Is that how they separate shit now? Odd and even toes? Uh, right. Such as cutie pig. Oh, god damn Such it. Such as horses, Cattle. rhinoceros. I said cutie pigs. And even. Okay, now you're just m making this shit weird. Mammals that include odd toed un ungulates, such as horses, rhinoceroses, and even toed ungulates, such as cattle, pigs, giraffes, camels, deer, and hip. Wait, it sounds like giraffes are in the same category shit. as deer? Apparently. According to this, it's so. fucking bullshit. Uh, let's see. Oh, guys, what's going on, guys? Bob Squatch, Nikki, how's it going? Uh, Dustin, uh, Will Boyles, <laughs> Pro Six Five One, <laughs> William D. Rollinger. Dustin. So, uh, I, I just want to do a quick uh, touch base on some shit. So, hit that like button, guys. We're, this is not a planned live stream. Josh no. literally just showed the fuck up. It was perfect. So, Man. I was just doing a, a OBS session recording and showing. Uh, so, my tweet went vape viral in the vape Twitter. What, Whatever the fuck that means. And uh, Graham, and now everyone's talking about it. Ray hit my ass up. I was like, yo, bro, no one's giving you credit. It's not the credit that I'm even asking for. I'm just asking for a goddamn shout out. The fact that I was the one that found the shit about Dr. Drew on uh, your mom's house network, which is now Dr. Drew after dark, whatever the fuck it's called. Put it this, I'll put it this way. He's not looking for, he found it. Yeah, I'm not looking He's for that. looking for repost the repost. shit, retweet it. Like, just, just fucking give repost. a little bit of credit that, because I was, Something. at one point was, told that i wasn't advocating enough like bitch i literally physically go to the goddamn council meetings like how much more and then they're exact for, this is uh one of the dudes that work for yeah you don't you don't do enough of it but then again you don't get the credit for doing it in the first place right i'm like what the fuck but uh, the one of the dudes who work for the double barrel squid industries yeah uh is the one that said this shit and try to put me on blast I'm like you can't put me on blast um so i go to the council meetings and fucking and then on top of that like i do shit like this and it pisses me the fuck off because I'm, I'm like, okay. I swear it's just a I'm hat. Not. I didn't get it, it. It's just the Squid oh, Industries that's hilarious. hat. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. No, it's this has nothing to do with uh, Squid <laughs> Industries as a whole. This is just one dude who used to work oh, for them. Um, and eventually, the I think the one of the people who actually worked for them said, pull that shit the fuck down. It was on Facebook. But that's 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 neither here nor there. All I was getting at was um, I wanted to talk to you about the Dr. Drew segment that I had snipped and threw on Twitter. Yep. Have you watched it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So how, where, what is your take personally? And I'm going to put up another video guys on this. So don't worry. Uh, but what is your take personally on celebrity doctors, not vaping, just, just period, in general just celebrity. Doctors. Um, okay. First off, if you're an actual doctor, okay. You have some form of credibility. You are celebrities. So then at least whatever you're talking about is going to get spread around. I'd say quicker. So you have Which to be more careful. Be, yeah, it could be beneficial. It could also be very harmful. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a solid a little point. mixed, but yeah. You know, it's a side it, at the same point. If you're going to say something that's truthful, good. You at least were truthful. I can respect the, you for that. A hundred percent agree. There's a problem that I see that that's inherent with that is that if you're a celebrity, a celebrity, anything, if you say something. A hundred thousand, just just give me a round number. A hundred thousand people are going to think it's correct, a hundred percent. Yeah, um, and then they're going to use you that. Continue to say it too, even I, if you were a celebrity and you said it a thousand times of yep. something that's bullshit. People are going to kind of believe it. Yep, understand. The problem is, is when they make corrections later on down the road. Mm. 10% of the people who saw it already in the past have no idea that it was corrected. Yeah. So then that's how fucking online rumors come around. That's how the whole popcorn lung uh, shit got started. And just to touch on that again, popcorn lung is diacetyl. That has to do with literally people who work in a popcorn factory over the span of decades. Has When you have... That is not going to affect you anywhere near the same it is inside of a factory where you're breathing it literally on a constant basis. Well, that was done even when it was... Um when vaping was early and there were diacetyl in e-liquids yep, but well. they still again they pointed at oh my god it's got diacetyl in fucking e-liquid except for even at that time cigarettes were up here yeah vaping was still down, down here yep. 
So, so I mean, even your amount, but it's that scare tactic that they focus on one point of the story. My favorite part is the formaldehyde argument. And I'm like, my doctor looked at me dead in the face. He's like, dude, formaldehyde is produced in the body naturally. Your lungs do that naturally. All right. So back to the Dr. Juice, uh, the, specifically that segment. His line that fucking blew my mind. That was my favorite was they're not going to find anything wrong with it. And they have to find something wrong with it. Oh, yeah. So it's the moral. It's the moral aspect. What about the kids? Yeah. Then you've got companies like fucking Bubble Yum. You've got companies, uh, not Bubble Yum, but yeah, Bubble Yum sponsoring vodka. Sponsoring. Yeah. You have cake oh, flavored vodka. You have fucking sriracha flavored vodka. So Because there's money attached to it. It's money attached Look, to it at the end of the day. Uh, last What's going week, on, guys? Last week, we had a friend of ours from Rochester came up and saw us and... um she saw that I was vaping and she, we kind of talked a little bit and part of it was the, uh, huge shout out to pod juice. They just re-upped the yeah, sponsorship. Guys. Bam. So I'm excited. To um, they just, she, she's having some, some problems, migraines and stuff. Um, and they can't seem to get her better. They mm-hmm. can't, they've been trying all Lisa, this kind of Lisa shit. Olin's got that going on. Really? Yeah. Hit that like she's button guys. Here. She's there. Uh, she's got I feel s- your pain. Yeah. Um, Lisa's got surgery pretty soon. It sounded like whatever was wrong, like they've gone through a list of shit. Um, don't go to Mayo if you decide to deal with that because they, that's where my friend is going and they're giving her no help whatsoever. Really? Yeah. Everyone wants to go to Mayo, but here's the thing. If you don't have something major, I've heard that. I've heard that a bunch actually. Yeah. My brother had uh, had the largest brain tumor anyone's ever survived from in surgery and he mm -hmm. had surgery at Mayo. That's what it's probably good for. And exactly. If yeah. you have cancer, if you have something massive, they're great. That's where their funding goes. You have Fun migraines, you have practice. diabetes. They don't know jack shit. Wow, they, they're, they're terrible. You're better off going somewhere else. But it's like, she's but she's been going through like this whole list of shit, and she's like, I don't understand why. One doctor told me to go here. I went there, and they're like, No, we don't do that here. And you know, whatever, blah blah blah, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I just kept looking at her. I'm going because it's money. It's fucking money. It's always yeah. money. Yeah, and then she saw me vaping, and then she's like, "Well, brought up all these issues," and I'm like, "It's because of money." Yeah, she's like, "Well, you know, I think the main thing is that because kids like it." It's like, "Yeah, of course, kids like it. Kids also smoke. Kids also drink, but none of that gets affected. No one goes no after one that talk- shit yep. because money. It's always money. Tax ninety five percent tax on on all quote unquote tobacco products. So, with the kid thing, which pisses me off, is is the flavor." bands that are going on specifically with new york minnesota's having issues with uh shipping e-liquid to minnesota um right now pod juice is the only one that's honoring that but there's no i looked i was looking at the rest- restrictions regulations mm-hmm. it's still not necessarily past 100 percent because there's no there's no bylaw there's no uh re- repercussion there's no okay you can't there's nothing to say that you get in trouble yet yes there's a regulation with shipping uh, online sales for nicotine products other it, than distros. It, it's the, it's the like, Hey, don't do that. Well, what if we do do that? Well, we don't know yet. We'll get back to you. Yeah. We don't know. They yeah. don't know yet. So that's the, that's kind of a situation that Minnesota's in. And I don't, I haven't read the whole thing because it's, it's intertwined with some other bullshit. Like it's like no skateboarding on the sidewalk. Oh, by the way, you can't sell vaping products online no. uh, in Minnesota. You can't ship it in Minnesota. You can't, you just can't get 95% tax. I had no idea about the shit. What's yeah. uh, do we got any questions um, guys? jelly's peanut you got a good point um they're lucky in the uk but still fucked up laws true but at the same point uk also considers tobacco harm reduction as something good <laughs> and here we're like oh no that, that counteracts my money inflow yeah exactly what up bro um zato's blind john uh tanana from louisiana bob squatch <clears throat> taking a break to watch yours adorable huh I got something else to talk and i'd like to hear some comments to see what people think it'd be great uh got loop. Oh shit, got uh, and that was for the whole Grim Green and the Dr. Drew thing. So he fucking nominated uh Dr. Drew for Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and I was ah dude, nah. just one little shout out's all it fucking takes, man. <laughs> that's one little goddamn shout out of the channel. That's it. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. That's I don't think he would do it, but still, the point is I would like to know how people think about it. Because well, Gottlieb what the reason? was an advocate that we thought was going to be a good thing for being an FDA. Turned out bad. Not so good. Yep. But as he's resigning. Who's going to take his place? Well, that and do you consider that a good thing? I, I'm the, almost wondering if he'll go back to being a vape advocate because now he's not connected to the yep. FDA. That's, that's not a bad. 
It's not a bad way to look at it. The thing that scares me about it more than anything is it's kind of like watching someone who it's a double edged sword. They have to play to both fucking constituents. It's like, do you take the plea deal or do you risk life in prison? Yeah. You're going to get fucked either way. One's just a little bit less. So with godly, we, we had a, we got a little bit. It's like taking a plea deal. We got a little bit. Now it's a fucking gamble on whether yeah. or not it's going to be the death uh, penalty. Yeah. And that's, that is true too. Uh, jelly's peanut. Um, his name is Scott Godlib. He was the commissioner for FDA. Yep. He was a vape advocate who thought it was going to be good for the industry and not so much. So, I mean, I guess you could see it. Maybe he, maybe he put up a little bit of a fight. I'd hope, but yeah, he's also like, oh no, there's a epidemic on teens. Let's go after vaping. Which is such. Um, by the shit. way, we're gonna release this product that's um, ketamine nasal spray. Yep. For children, and it's like, there's some pretty decent um, studies on ketamine. Weird but, shit. But regardless, but yeah. still, it's like, oh, hard drugs. Sure, vape. Ooh, vaping. Ooh, mm. The problem I have with the two Still. is that nicotine is not. It, there's no detrimental effects in small amounts. If you have hardcore, yeah. and I mean like I'm talking like on deaths, like on death door cardiovascular problems, where you've got to remain like you know away from anything that constricts air fl- uh, blood flow, arteries, vascular system. That's when nicotine becomes an issue. But it, it, if you're a fucking a healthy person, that's there's nothing that nicotine does for you that nicotine mm-hmm. that caffeine doesn't exactly you know what i mean and, and caffeine could be more detrimental if your heart because if your heart speeds up that's one aspect that's bad if you if your ventricles and shit your arteries are constricted even temporarily via nicotine that's not good either bring your nicotine content down it's you don't it's not a hard yeah thought process uh, china i didn't know that what uh you said they use nicotine that help they use nicotine that help with alzheimer's Yes, because nicotine is, okay. a, is a nootropic. So I've seen that, but I, I, not very many people. Uh, I, I haven't been a whole high. Uh, I haven't really researched a lot. Uh, oh. My grandpa died of Alzheimer's. So after that, it was just kind of like, man, that really sucks. But interesting. Okay. I didn't know that they use that. That's kind of cool. I'm sorry God, to hear that. We'll end up. Spork life. Ooh. As a board on Altria. Do you think so? Fuck, I hope not. I mean, I'm sure he's probably got some job. I saw that too. Someone somewhere along the line had said like, uh, I'm sure he's already got a job lined up at some major company lobbying. Probably. I mean, that's where a lot of these guys end up is, is yeah. lobbying. You know, um, speaking of lobbying, I've known, I've known Greg Connolly since 2014 and he's, he, uh, I've met him a few times and I remember him here in Minnesota at the, at the Capitol building. And it was amazing watching him talk the way he was speaking about it was so much more elegant than any one of us could have put it into words. But not all lobbyists are bad. The amount of money, though, that it takes and that you would make as a lobbyist, when I was speaking to, to one of the shop owners here, they donate or they get, they give, they have to give $5,000 a month as a business. Now, that's just one mm-hmm. company, one business, one vape shop here in Minnesota that gives that much. Imagine how much it costs to keep someone like that on deck. And then if you've got someone like Altria or someone like Jewel, they have a fucking lobby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't know straight numbers, but um, they had, you always see the pictures of like, how come, you know, this person makes $10 an hour? How come a CEO makes, you know, $200,000? Yep. Um, And the argument for that was that they wanted, companies wanted to make a position of CEO, um, it appear like a good position to be at. That's why they made such a high incentive of money to be that job. Mm. So like in terms of uh, charities, that's why. Yeah. Maybe maybe that also helps too. Maybe they're like, well, if you want to be a lobbyist, we'll give you this much money. Yeah. Instead of being an attorney. mm, So it'd be something along those lines. Yeah. There's a lot of shit like that. Um, says it's traffic on the way home avalanche. What is that? Says thesis and Josh looking handsome. As oh, thank today. you, man. You're adorable as fuck. Um, and guys, this is not this is not necessarily a regular thing. Literally, Josh showed up and I was yeah. like, hey, let's just go live. No, no. I showed up and you're like, ah, let's you want to record or let's oh, uh, do a review. Let's yeah. do a review. So we started on his Mizwek crap. Yeah. And then well, it, it we got, got, like got five minutes in. Yeah. And yeah, then he's like, hey, let's just go live. <laughs> why do I let's see? Why do I get Dave Navarro vibe from you, Thesis? I, I have no idea. That's I appreciate that though. I'll take it. That's a compliment and a half. I don't get that. 
Let me see. Dave. <laughs> Let's, well, we have to ask if, which year of Dave Navarro. Oh, I get it. I could see it if I had one of those hats and some. Wait, where's my glasses? Pass me the glasses, will you please? And my ears. No fucking way. I've been told. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen him, but I've been told that multiple times. Let's see. This dude better get pussy. How about now? I feel like I've seen him. Didn't he used to do like an Ink Masters? I think so. I thought I think it was, maybe I thought that's it was a band. Or band. Something like Wasn't that. he in a band? What band? Singer songwriter. Uh, member of Jane's Addiction. And a former. Oh, Red Hot Chili Red Peppers. Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, there we go. That's where we're fucking going. Still, I, I feel like I've seen him yeah. recently on something. Let's see. Uh, it's his giant dick. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, it's got yeah, Ink yeah. Masters. Yep, that's what it was. What's going on, Don Flores? Doug watches it a lot, so fuck yeah. The Ink Masters, though, bro. Let's uh, Doug. So if you guys know Doug, he's got no tattoos. <laughs> he wants tattoos. He likes tattoos. Has his none of wife them. has a handful of them. Um, but yeah. I, I, then again, he's an art guy, so that kind of oh, makes sense. Oh, Tia hit me up this week and wanted me to do her intro for her. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I told her cool. I, there's no way I can until the last week in march till i'm back i have to dj as soon as i get back from nve i'm djing um somewhere in minnesota far away for s- almost nothing i'm sure it's his giant dick bob <laughs> yes i saw that shit <laughs> Ooh, it's wednesday keep an eye bob tomorrow tomorrow what's going on tomorrow hit that like button guys if you haven't done so by the way i shipped his box oh shit p.s huge he shout to pod juice uh thesis 15 coupon code uh podjuice55.com this is uh this is one of the sponsors of the channel they didn't come to me i went to them um end of story like that's that's how much i fucking enjoy their mint the problem is even if they didn't sponsor the channel i was really bummed out because i was like fuck i'm still gonna have to spend money and buy it, <laughs> still, I, still damn, it. I still like it i'm still yeah. gonna buy it like, i wish i could just turn that switch <laughs> off um and we will be doing a special giveaway at nve for uh enjoy aces we've got a shit ton of them as well as the newest let's see grab that minute please Oh, they're fucking solid. Here, I've got one sitting right there that you can use, too. You can grab that oh, instead. Which one do you want? Uh, those. You can grab this one. Yeah, there you go. Bam. But give it a shot. I think you'd dig it. Is uh, the Mimic Pod batteries right here, uh, Pod Systems. They've got a uh, quote-unquote MTL one that I'm going to just rip to shreds because it's fucking garbage because it's not actually MTL, but they've got a Cloud Pod version that's fucking phenomenal. That one is solid as fuck. Um, well, I wanted to also touch... Oh, shit. This. I'm still... Lo- reservoir is it's uh, the Mimics, theirs. It, and the liquid that's in it is phenomenal. So this bad boy right here was sent out by Mighty Rose Desperosa on the Patreon page. She hit, hooked us up with this. I can't tell what the fuck it is. If you guys know what shape of this, it looks so much similar to the Thor, so like the Gabrielle by Asvape. Thanks to Josh for showing me that shit. Yep. But it, um, I'm, I asked a couple of uh, Facebook pages that I've been on, but haven't got anything yet. Nothing. But, uh, no uh, one can figure this out. I can't figure it out. I've been looking for, a, I mean, not as long as you have, but I should probably, did you, what? it should be able to, you should find a fucking branding or something, something on it. Yeah. Um, it's 26,650. Um, it looks, it looks waterproof. It does look waterproof. Um, the threads on it are just butter. butter. I've never felt brass threads like this. And it's not like someone took super good care of it. Look at the battery door is a little choppy. Venting is at the bottom. Two holes for venting. Looks like a flathead on the top. On the bottom. Oh my god! Oh, you just did yeah, right now. Mine. I was like, someone found it. I'm like, that's no, I'm, the I'm asking one of the pages. <laughs> Somebody. Okay, if you ask anybody, know what this is? Um, buddy got it. Blah blah blah. It's a single twenty six six fifty blonde stab wood. There's no markings or labels. Someone just said, and someone said mod question mark, or are you asking who made it? Obviously, who fuck? If you know. Single 26650, you know all that shit to say about it. Just edit it and say, what mod is this? Because we can't figure it out. That is the mystery. I might end up by giving it away or something if someone could figure out it. Uh, Wayne Trammell, how's it going, bro? Josh Main, let's see, says, uh, can we see your boobs? Absolutely, you can. Zam, best pod device. Uh, hands down right now is Augvate AIO. It's not a pod system. It's a, it's an all-in-one, a uh, little bit dildo-looking, but not quite as much as the Pavino Puro. Leaf of Vapes, how's it going, my Ninja Kitty? Um, let's see. Thank you for joining. SX Mini is is shit. Yeah, the the, the my shit. That's what I call it. So my pod, <laughs> my pod, fucking my shit by SX Mini. Garbage, son. I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure there's other people who like it. E Rock likes it. 
It says I I jam twenty six six fifties in my ass when I'm bored. That's awesome, Herb. Is that how much how much battery life do you get out of that? By the way, I've been thinking quite some time about doing something similar. It's gotta watch out for venting. That's all. If you feel it deep inside. Oh shit! I want to know what everyone's vaping on. Um, I just got these the other day in the mail. Cactus drops, tango, chapo, and lemon drops or lemon. This shit goes super hard. All of the liquids, all of these flavors, the flavor profiles on them are exactly what they describe. The dragon fruit's the one that kind of stood out to me, but the lemon one's my favorite, hands down. P.S. Rocking the Jenna on this mystery mod. Maybe that's just what it, maybe that's what it is. It's the mystery mod. Maybe it's a custom build. But I feel like if someone custom built this, like dude, if somebody custom built that, I want to find out who they it went is. into some serious like. I'm telling this person that responded to me. Um, I'm saying it looks almost manufactured, not handmade. Yeah, because if this is handmade, this is holy fuck. Someone put some beautiful. extra time in that to put no label. Yep. <laughs> the reason why I would think that it's <laughs> no it's, nothing. Yes. <laughs> the reason why I think exactly if that was manufactured, I feel like they would be the giant stamp somewhere. Yeah, but it's but because there's how not the edges are manufacturing can unless you have an eight access. Well, I, I mean, you know what I mean? Not, yeah. not like I built this in my house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a I shop. I feel like you still would have put something on there. I would. <sighs> Even if you had no ego in your mind. Obviously, okay, it, 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 it's kind of one of both ways. It's either, it's either manufactured, you know, high quality. They just didn't slap their labels on it. Or somebody made this in their house and put a fuck ton of time into it. And still didn't sign it or anything. It it's weird. It's it's weird. It's strange. And Ray, uh, just to reiterate that shit, we had no idea we're gonna go live. So no, we did not, Ray. Yeah, it was just a thing. Uh, Dustin says, "Tiny V two with the jeans, an adorable blueberry something." Mm. Look at this from over here. Boom, Bam, using my profile on top side with candy king strawberry squares today i have um i don't think i've ever tried the candy king strawberry squares i won't give that a shot twist e-liquid strawberry honey graham on the va phenom fuck yeah crack pie jam monster pbj how's the p have you tried jam monster pb and j no me uh, neither the last jam monster i had was probably fuck year and a half ago oh yeah it, me too it just wasn't my ago. thing um i thought it was just too sweet for me too sweet I, I too artificial up. and it yeah. um the coils it was a coil killer with the it would steep dude, so I, fast i was exp i wanted it to be like dude, i love me some jelly um i love jelly and jams i wanted something that reminded me of like breakfast you know and it just didn't it was just like yeah mm -hmm. no so i stopped but herb william says um I hate jam masa. The fucking toast and butter taste kills me. I don't know where that toast and butter. I did. I never got the toast flavor at all. How do you even yeah, develop a toast flavor? It was just yeah, whatever. I I just got whatever. Like a, I got an imitation whatever flavor it was. If yeah, it strawberry. was grape or strawberry. It was just like if this is an imitation that. Yeah, and then that was it. Exactly. So I don't know. Let's see. Scott says PB and J is awesome. I gotta give it a shot. I want to try it. I know I wasn't a fan of all of them, but if that one's good, fuck it. Why not? David Humpson's got my bonds on 1.5 on my mage uh, stick or stack dual 30s 0.34 damn and dripping my own DIY lava flow remix Ooh. what are you rocking for that lava flow I'm curious lava flow remix hmm drag mini gear RTA and vape wild st stoned a stone age what is that what's the stone age fuck stone age Damn. Let's Google this quick, guys. Ooh, Fruity Rock cereal. Oh, fuck yeah. Is that Pebbles? How's that Stone Age go? Or go? How's it, uh, how's it taste in comparison to, like, I don't know, Bad Drips or like a Hoff Sauce or something? Fruity Pebbles and Vanilla. How does it taste compared to other liquids, like other versions of it? I'm my own DNA 200. That's badass, Jelly Peanut. Jelly's a peanut. Just be enjoyed. It's the best jam master. Let me give it a shot. Avenger 270 kit with the sour peach, peach hard candy, a light sour sweet goodness. Fuck that sounds. I'm not a peach guy, but the sourness to me is is raw. Scott's circus circus. 
Don't like Stone Age. Okay. <laughs> well, that's honest as fuck. I'm still looking for another solid Fruity Pebbles, man. Fruity Pebble Fruity Fruit Loops is not my is not my shit. It's too it tastes like uh pine salt. There's an like aftertaste of pine salt. I can't figure out why it exists. And uh, um, Fruity Pebbles is where it's at for me, especially with milk. Oh, god damn, it's so good. <laughs> Custom Lipo DNA 250C with the Widowmaker RDA vaping on Canadian e-juice that tastes like OG Big League chew. Fucking gross. Big League was so nasty. I thought it was like a pouch of pink chewing tobacco. Vape while e-liquids are hit and miss. Hmm. See, I like finding like cheap, shitty e-liquid only because I feel like something like one out of three or four is a lot of times the best I've ever had. And like you said, hit and miss. Leafa says 1111 stacked Elite V2 with the Adore e-liquid not from Concentrate. I enjoy Zenith 3. Kennedy 24, my DIY sloppy second. DIY sloppy second. What the fuck is this, Leafa? Can I have some? Cereal is hard. Uh, hard of the flavors all have to be. Yeah, strong lemon. Lemon pledge that needs uh, bent with other, other flavors. I need a bottle of Hobo Joe's Grime, American Dinner Strawberry, Milkshake, and can't find anything like it. How's your day going, Bob? Yeah, that's a good question. Bob, how's your day going? Where's Bob? Bob Ellis! Mm. Brother from another mother. Didn't even see Bob Ellis pop in. How's it going, bro? It's cheap on Ultimate Vape Deals. I'm going to give it a shot. Recommend a good milkshake. Fuck, I used to know a couple of good milkshakes. I can't remember their names. My throat's dry as titties. Oh, yes. Just got back from acupuncture. My aunt is an acupuncturist, bro. Stacked RTA on the Magma Mod Leaf Vapes. Key Lime Cheesecake Greek Yogurt Sloppy Seconds. Bro, can I send me... You literally live four hours away. Can you please send me like 16 bottles? I'm not asking for much. Well, I should have a wrench. This is true. I don't know why you don't have a wrench. I don't know that I can do wrenches in... Oh, yeah. There we go. Boom. Bow squat. You got a fucking wrench, son. Susan Primo says uh, Stoned Age is awesome, but that's my opinion. See, we've gotten two opposite opinions on that. That's how you know shit's so subjective. Hit that like button if you guys haven't done so. Leafa, what's your fucking phone number, bro? Um, let's see. Just in case anyone needs to know this, if you're going to be at uh, NVE, I'm going to be at booth 232, 233, and 234. Uh, companies like VML, Pillar of Clouds, Grindhouse, uh, Steamline, and a ATV e-liquids and CBD. I mean, that's that's where he's gonna start. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna start. I mean, yeah. to be fair, he's gonna be all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> Period and a sentence. <sighs> Stop that. Bad boy yawning and doing things. And what stuff. did I miss, guys? Right. We've uh, discussed a few things. We discussed a little bit on the Dr. Drew shit. Um, we discussed a little bit of liquid stuff. We're trying to figure out what the fuck mod this is still. I mean, the guy that I'm talking with right now, he's like it very well could be just a homemade, but somebody fucking put a lot of work into this. It could have been a kit, I guess. Not even like a fucking initial Nothing. or something. The ramp up is pretty slow depending upon your well, resistance, I mean, but yeah, at the same a, time... It's a single 26650. Yeah. I mean, it, it's going to be slow. It's expected, but still, it just... I, do, I don't know. I do feel like if I had that... It's damn nice. Dual, it fuck. just... I just don't know. Yeah, as simple as that. Thesis uh, is a pinball at X, X Expo. Yes, I am at the Expo. Get the pinball Expo. Take a pick of the mod and ask Jay. I'll, I'll fucking, I'll ask him. He's got to post it on a on a Facebook group right now, so we'll see kind of where that goes. Let's see. All right, guys. You know what though? It's uh, it's two eleven. I'm gonna let you guys go in four minutes. Hit that like button if you haven't done so. I just want to do like a midday stream quick. So uh, Weird, but okay. Any closing? <laughs> it is. It is. Any closing Four thoughts minutes. on on the Doctor Drew shit? I appreciate it. Um, it was definitely unintended. I, hope, I, I kind of almost hope that he gets under some scrutiny. Like people come and ask him, like, "Why the fuck did you talk about that?" That way, it can kind of expand more. So he can yep. be like, because there isn't anything wrong. With it. Not just yep. that it was like a little filler piece that he threw in there and it just, okay, let's just move on. I kind of almost want people to come after him and like, why did you say that? I don't people that go way, after him. Just no, no, I, inquiry, I'm being yeah, inquisitive yeah, about it. Yeah. That's what I mean. More. Not, not chew his ass out. I'm just, I just mean, it'd be kind of nice for people to continue on from there. Exactly. And try and find out like, dude, why did you say that? 100%. And then he can be like, 
because there's nothing wrong with it. Yep. I think that'd be kind of nice. Kind of cool. Like, okay, now it, it goes beyond just, like I said, just a filler piece and that's it. Yep. hundred percent. So, yeah. hundred percent. I agree. If I, I'm hoping that on the pot on the, on, on the, this, on this next podcast that he's dropping this, uh, this week that he, he talks about it. I just want to hear, I want to hear also where he's, where the findings were on the, the drop in heroin and drug use and alcohol use Ooh, and yeah, the drop in smoking. Yeah. The yeah. higher vaping was the drop in smoking, alcohol, drugs, all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that he said that. And what I haven't seen that. We study. have to be naturally skeptical. Yeah. And I would so like to see it. That would be interesting to see that. Yeah. Where that came. Okay. Because if that's the case and that, that means that that study is not getting out there, which is yeah. that's, that's a conspiracy in and of itself. You know what I mean? Uh, Baba says, no, have Dr. Drew on the show. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's, that'd be fucking awesome. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> I love you, but you're not that big. Yeah, I know. Not that big. Yeah. <laughs> not on the internet. I anyways. don't think anyone is that big. <laughs> no, not, not the biggest person in baby can probably get with uh, Dr. Drew. Doing good. Sh- oh, shit. Sh- Shannon. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, Shannon. Is this your Miss seat pickle I'm lover? In? I'm a pick- I see that you are a pickle. I love the fact that you're a pickle. Hit that like button for pickles, guys. If you didn't already. Okay, bitches. Now, with that being said, I want to tell you that I appreciate your baby with thesis. It is your boy thesis. I'm out. Mm.